I, I know I've been busy, I've not been able to make videos and I owe you guys a lot of videos. But um, just to kick off this new wave of videos, I'm going to be showing you how to do, do this kind of uh, ties, this kind of patterns in Figma. And it, it, it has a less possibility. So after this, after watching this, go ahead, dive into Figma, do awesome patterns, even for clothing, for shoes, for different kind of uh, um, apparels. You can just do something and share with me. You, I will leave my uh, my in the description below. I will leave my Twitter handle. You can follow me. You can share with me. I will repost. Just do something awesome and show me. So before, the, without saying much, let's go. This will be a very short uh, tutorial. Um, let's let, let's get to it. So now this is very simple. How if you want to create patterns like this, it's as simple as four or five four steps uh, maximum. So let's say you want to create um, you want to create a pattern, and and. And you, 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 don't, you don't actually have anything in mind. So let's just play around. You can have something definitive or something more concrete to do. So, but let's, let's, let's see something. So let me just create a frame. I, I clicked the frame from up here. So now getting the frame, um, I'm thinking, how will I create this? Now, there, 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 are, some, there are some ways that you can create this. Um, there are some ways that is better created now now let's do something um let, let's find a random shape i'll press o on my keyboard to highlight the ellipse tool or i'll go here i'll go to the shape tools and select the ellipse tool now with the ellipse tool selected i just want to make a round shape so in this round shape i'm going to do something um Though you can use it in your UI to design, to have um, awesome designs in your UI patterns that are to you. So you don't have to go to Freepik or any other platform to look for patterns. You can make your own patterns right here in Figma. So I will, I will copy this to ellipses. Now, this is on top. So I will, do, I will change the color. Let me change the color to something vibrant, something I can see. Sorry about that. So I'll change the color to something vibrant I can see. Yeah, let me let me pick green. So now picking green, this I will have to walk around it. Now I want the pattern to look something like this. I want it to look something like this. So what I'll do, I'll copy this particular arc that I've made and I'll rotate it <coughs> 360 degrees so rotating it 360 degrees will make this particular shape remember all the, uh, the I want this pattern on a white so that means you are likely to be seeing only the um, green pattern <coughs> so let's see what we'll get so what I'll do I'll group this and I'll export this as an image. Yeah, it's most likely to work when you export it as an image. Now the group is here. Now what, what we are going to do is, we are going to replace this field, this field with, uh, this particular field with this image. Oh, it looks ugly. Nah, nah, nah. So that's not that should not worry you because what you are trying to do is a pattern. So what you just did is you replace this image, and by default the image is on fill. Now there are many options that you can have. 
the first one is fill first one is fit uh, let's click it let's see how what it does so it fits it in the um, confines of the frame the next one is crop you can change the size but that's not what we want we want style awesome can you imagine what we just had now we just had a tile that means this particular thing is just a pattern now you can choose to rotate this anyhow you want just to get what you want <coughs> you can just play around with it till it gives you you can increase it you can reduce it you can just play around with it guys this is awesome so once you 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 are done with it uh you can also increase this exposure saturation make it look the way you want and after working with that you can just close up your this thing now if you notice this has a transparent background now if i want this white to go away there's a simple fix to that <clears throat> i want only to be seen the green uh pattern and the white will be like the background now what i'll do is i'll add another fill yes i know it's a linear fill because the other one is solid so what i'll do i'll change it to solid and i'll make sure it's on white so now not, not to worry it has not disappeared it's, it has it's at the back so what i'll do i'll click this click it here at the center between the eye and the percentage opacity so i'll just drag it down voila so this is now the background white and the pattern on it isn't that awesome let's let's make one more pattern let's make one more pattern uh i'm going to drag i'm going to drag this out then uh let's make a pattern i'm thinking about the pattern i didn't i i i, I I don't want to repeat this uh, kind of pattern here, so so let's do something something else, something more more fun. Uh, let's use a, a, a polygon. So um, now this polygon, I'm going to give it. Uh, let's let's make it six, yeah, six. So I want this to be the pattern, and I want it to be different colors I want it to be different colors so let's see let's 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 design the pattern first that we want so which color are we choosing let's choose um ladies color let's say a pink pinkish and let's say <clears throat> a yellowish color so you can use this to design your um, let's say you're designing for a fashion brand or uh, you can use it to design that so let's let's export this I, I won't give much thought into that uh, I know you should be naming your layer so that you know what you are working with. So what I will do is I will select this. Remember, it has two fill. Then I will move this particular. I will just drag. Sorry. What I will do, how I change it is I just drag this and place it on top of this image. So if you have any question about what we are doing and how it's being done, if you are confused, can just reach out and ah this pattern is looking ugly uh let me shut off the background still looking ugly let me let, let's change the background to this color mm. Mm, it's looking better now although although i uh, we could have done better but you get the gist that's actually how you can make let's let's make it smaller let's see let's say 30 let's make this white so we can see it ah the white is it's messing everything up 
but you get the gist. So you can create this. This can be a, an abada for for August meeting. It can be anything. It can be you can start developing using uh, algebra to draw out your patterns using whatever you like to get your patterns. But right here in Figma, the possibilities are endless. So shoot me a, a DM on Twitter or anywhere. I would tell I was uh, my next course will be my next video will be on how to use um, ellipse on UI. So just watch out for that and thank you, subscribe and see you next time.